Hello again and welcome back. I am Jared Case, curator of film exhibitions at the Dryden Theater and the George Eastman Museum. I've got another streaming recommendation for you today, and it is another one of our virtual cinema selections. So this is premiering on August 7th, and it's a documentary called Sunless Shadows, uh, an Iranian documentary uh, from a director, Merdad Uskuye who has now seven films under his belt, but this is his fourth. He's made sort of a a small career uh, thematically for himself, uh, making documentaries about the Iranian uh, prison system. Uh, So there were the first two were focusing on male inmates, and the last one and this one have focused on female inmates. But in Sunless Shadows, what he does is he goes into one specific correctional facility, and he talks to young women who have uh, been convicted of murder, um, either of a husband or a, a father or some other male family member. And there are patterns that emerge as to the reasons that these young women uh, decided to commit the crimes, either by themselves or with the help of some other uh, female members of their family. And these patterns lead to domestic abuse. Uh, they lead to depression. Uh, They lead to uh, the feeling that there was no support from the other family members or from society uh, to be able to escape what they consider to be a dangerous situation. You know, these these women tell stories about uh, going to the police station uh, beaten and bloody with a broken leg and not being able to receive any help because they were blaming her for having done something that would necessitate that beating. So... uh, It's a really interesting documentary in that it gets into, it's it's almost, for me, it's almost film noir-like in that you are trying to understand what would make these people transgress, what causes, what situations and personalities cause these people to commit these crimes. And to have women of a a certain age uh, and of uh, a a similar crime and a similar uh, community come together and really focus on these crimes and their reasons for doing it, I, I think is a really fascinating. And it's, you know, it's done very uh, cheaply. Uh, this is not one of those slick documentaries. It's, it's, it's footage that is garnered by one guy and maybe a, a sound person uh, that is um, talking to these women and becoming friends. Obviously, they're very familiar with him and what uh, he's doing. And they're, they're very open about uh, what they've done as well as the situation and the relationships with other female family members that may be in prisons uh, uh, separately. There are sisters and mothers that are in other prisons for the same crime. So uh, it's, it's very fascinating. And he ultimately, I mean, he starts the film and ends the film. He gives them a camera and allows them to address um, directly, people make video letters basically uh, to people who may be involved in the crime, or particularly the victims of the crime. Um, so they're they're talking to their their dead spirits, uh, pleading them to forgive them or to you know come to some realization that would affect that the the way that they're living. Uh, the the the, ma- the fact of the matter is that, is that these women are dependent upon living family members to forgive them in some way for them to be freed, uh, to be able to uh, go back out into society. And it's generally um, family members of the victim, of the father or husband, and they are not likely to forgive them and, and give them a second chance despite the situation. So a really fascinating documentary, and it is available through our virtual cinema page uh, at the Dryden Theater on the Eastman.org website. Uh, each and every rental does help support us as we are closed and uh, looking to open up again. So please keep that in mind. We're going to bring more of these virtual cinema titles to you, at least one every week going forward. So please uh, look out for those. As well, we're going to be bringing you other interviews and streaming recommendations uh, that you can use online as well. So Uh, Stay well, and we will see you again next time.